from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And praying, do not babble like the pagans who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and do not subject us to the final test, but deliver us from the evil one. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, Neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like the rising and the setting of the sun Oh, your timing is set, you will be done Like a candle glowing through my darkest night You're my bearer of hope, you light my path You will And I am convinced you are so much more. You are marvelous. There is nothing like your beauty and wonder. Oh, the heavens speak the breath of your splendor. You're the
How do you pray? Especially in times when you are asking for something from the Lord. Pag nanghihingi ka. Kasi, alam nyo, unconsciously, meron tayong iba-ibang klaseng ways ng panghihingi sa Diyos. Yung iba sa atin, pag nanghihingi kay Lord, para tayong mga pulube. The more kawawa, the better. Anong sinasabi natin? Minsan ganito yung prayer natin. Lord, kawawa naman ako. Wala na akong jowa. Tapos na walang pa ako ng trabaho. Baka naman pwede sana tumama na ako sa loto. And we think that sometimes the more kawawa our prayer is, the more kawawa we look in front of the Lord, the better. Kasi mas lalo tayong kaawaan at pagpapalain ng Diyos. Or maybe you pray like a businessman. Ano yung businessman? Minsan ganyan tayo pag nagdarasal tayo makwenta. Yung sinasabi mo ko, Uy, Lord, oh, grabe ha, nag-tights ako ha. Uy, gr- Lord, grabe ha, nag-serve ako sa'yo. Uy, Lord, grabe ha, hindi ko ginawa yung favorite na kasalanan ko for one month na. Baka naman, Lord, baka naman, do your part of the deal. I have done my part. So, ikaw naman, i-bless mo naman ako. Ayan, negosyante, negosyante, para nakikipag-transact kay Lord, may ina-expect na return. Or maybe, ito pinakamulupit, minsan, We pray like a demanding boss. Lord, gusto ko nito, gusto ko nyan, gusto ko ora mismo. Meron pang pecha, meron pang date. At pag hindi nasunod yung timeline, nagtatampo kay Lord. Do you pray like a beggar? Do you pray like a businessman? Do you pray like a boss? Sana ibahin natin yung ganyang attitude. Because our gospel for today suggests Otherwise, malayong malayo yung kagustuhan ni Jesus and He taught us how to pray dun sa prayer ng, ng the Lord's Prayer. At, uh, alam naman natin ito, ang, 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 isa pang tawag natin, Our Father, di ba? Jesus is teaching us that the way to pray is to pray like a trusting child. Like a trusting child to His Father. And and Paano ba ang paano ba lumapit at manghingi ang isang bata? 'Di ba ang bata kapag pumunta sa nanay niya sa parents niya, he or she will come to his or her parents and then tatry niya kung ano yung gusto niya. But at the end of the day, pagkakatiwalaan niya kung ano yung gusto ng magulang niya. He will surrender because he knows that the parents know what's best for him or her. Am I making sense here? Kaya sana Ganito ang attitude natin, Lord, ito sana yung gusto ko, ito sana yung feeling kong makakabuti sa akin. Ewan ko, Lord, ano sa tingin mo? Pero at, ikaw na rin bahala kasi alam ko naman, ang gusto mo para sa akin ay yung makakabuti sa akin, pinaka the best for me. That's how to pray like a trusting child. E yan kasi minsan ang problema natin. Minsan, kaya tayo nagdarasal, we feel like prayers It's like twisting God's arm. Yung tipong itatry mong i-manipulate si Lord para makuha mo yung outcome na gusto mo. But here's what I believe in. Just what the gospel says, the Father already knows what you need before you ask them. And I believe in this. Prayer does not change the mind of God. But here's the wonderful thing. Prayers changes our hearts. Pag nagdasal ka kay Lord, hindi naman niya babaguhin yung isip mo kasi nga alam niya kung ano yung best para sa iyo eh. Hindi niya babaguhin kung ano yung ibibless at yung sagot niya sa dasal mo. But at the end of the day, the value of prayer really is not in the getting of the prayer. The value of prayer is the ongoing, nurturing relationship between you and God. Tuwing nagdadasal ka, napapalapit yung puso mo sa Diyos. And in the end, yung puso mo ang unti-unting binabago ng Diyos. And so, my prayer for you today is this, that you will learn how to really pray like a trusting child and trusting everything to His Father. Amen? Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, we come to you, O Lord, as your children. We trust, Lord, that you know what we want. You know what we need. 
And Lord, in your goodness, we know that you will only will and you will only desire what's best for us. And so, Lord, though we may have plans, though we may have prayers, we surrender all of them into your hands. And we pray that you slowly lead us to the blessed plans you have for us. All these, Father, we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And just like a child to his father, we are going to love you no matter what's the answer. This we pray in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.